Hey, what's up guys? Aiden here. Today we're having a look at Kid Yamamoto. This was requested by one of the subscribers, so yeah, good shout on this one. I've gone for um, Posture John Dodson, and I've set his age to age 30 to go for slightly, because he had quite a long career. So I've gone for like middle of the ground and with the hair I've obviously gone for the red star, it's a bit more iconic but you can go for other options which I'll show you in a bit. He was at 1.14 and like 14 wins in a row, um, he had lost and then he went 14 wins and before that I guess if you add up the other three, so he was actually 17, 1 and 1 at one point in his career, just knocking everyone out really, he got a few submissions as well, rear naked chokes and arm bars and whatnot. Um, yeah, an absolute legendary fighter. He was in uh, THQ's UFC 3, and probably those of you who are MMA fans will know who this guy is anyway. This is my kind of attempt at him. I'm going to probably try and work on him some more down the line. This is about two days solid work, um, especially on the face. It's quite difficult to get right, but hopefully you like what you see. And let me know any feedback, or if you make any improvements, do let me know. So for the body type, I've gone for body type number 14. And skin tone, tone 5 or tone 4, it's up to you guys. I went for tone 5, just going off the pictures I saw. Tone 6 could possibly work as well. But any of those three tones really. And tattoos we'll get into. Let's jump into the head. So for his head slide, I've gone for template 29. Which unfortunately doesn't have the greatest jawline and chin. But um, we've made do with what we have. So I'm just going to go through all the sliders. And uh, yeah, I've chucked a couple of tattoos on the side of his head as well. His tattoos did change over the course of his career, as it does for many fighters. Obviously, he started with a couple of tattoos and then over the years added more and more. These are kind of his finished, I guess, tattoos in the sense that he's got the side um, of his neck and next to his head as well, which he didn't have till later in his career. Similarly, the stuff that's on his chest, he didn't have till later on in his career. Um, but I'll leave it up to you guys and uh, we will go through it, don't worry. So yeah, this is what I've got so far for him. Again, if you make any improvements, do let me know. For his body, did we go through body? Uh, body type was body 14. Skin tone, tone 5, body 14. Um, other than that, you could perhaps go for body 8. Those were the two that I was kind of thinking about. In the end, I went for body 14. It's a little bit chubby, which is a shame. But the head ratio to body ratio it seemed a bit more fitting. Uh, let me know what you do as well. For the tattoos, last bit of the tutorial. It's not too much um, detail in this one. I've gone for text two and I've rotated it around here. And then for either side of his neck, we've got another two texts and it's a uh, text number four. And then on his body, I've got miscellaneous number 11 right in the middle of his chest. And I've chucked some angel wings on top of it. Uh, for the side of his head we have this Celtic Tribal, it should be a lightning shape but I couldn't find one at the time so I went for Celtic Tribal and I've just chucked it there. If you want to leave that out, if you want to go for the earlier version of him then yeah, you should, uh, should do that and we can go through a few hairstyles you can use as well if you're going for a later version. Uh, text number 5 on this side and then I've done, what have I done, his eyebrows, yeah. So you want to darken up his eyebrows with Clairvo font number 9. As such and what I've done is I've just rotated it around using R2 L2 and then just kind of just to thicken out his eyebrow and then press left on the d-pad and you want to slant it a bit so that they're pointing like diagonal rather than too flat um, and you should be able to get a little bit more definition to them and it kind of it helps add to his uh, face just makes it look a bit more like him under his eyelids I've chucked these clever font number threes which are just C shapes and you rotate them with the L2 Bring it under his eyelid and then press the left on the D-pad. Make a clone of it by pressing L3 in. I actually had to look that one up. It's been a while since I've done this. And then chuck it under his other eye. And those are those bits. Next up, we have his arm. Again, you can go how you want to do with the tattoos. If you want to copy what I've got, I've done this in this 11. As the sort of base layer. Then I've chucked this one. I'm just going to tweak it a little bit. Let's make a little improvement here. Celtic Tribal 6 towards the end of his arm. And then at the top, I have Miscellaneous 19. And if you actually look around on YouTube, there's a couple of other versions of him. And from them, you could take those those tattoos and mix it with the head here. Or, and, you know, if you think it's, uh, if they've got better tattoos, um, this is the way I've done it. Miscellaneous 9, uh, sorry, let's do the first ones first. Angels and Demons 4, bottom layer. And then Miscellaneous 19, top layer. And then, did I show the tattoos on the side of his head? Yeah, so we have these two, yeah, I've shown them as well. So this should be a kiss actually, but I don't think we have anything really close to a kiss. We can chuck a lady there if you want. And then, yeah, we've done that one. So for his hair, 
the other options you could do if you don't want to give him the red hairstyle and you want to go for his kind of later look i think it was this one I was at, yeah and then go for the black hair and you've got this other look and you can chuck on um, facial hair as well because he did have a beard later on in his career and the one i was thinking was facial hair number 21 or uh, probably facial hair number 24 so either of those two really uh, maybe 24 is the better option yeah but if you want to go for a clean look 21 what you can do as well guys if you're not too familiar with these you can make his facial hair a bit thicker using any of these sort of letters that i, I tend to i think I used to use mythos font number nine you can use it to like thicken out his facial hair and then make a clone of that by pressing the um left stick in and then sort of you know you can give a bit of facial hair you can chuck a mostly use these animals animal shapes and stuff or uh, angels and demons for example if you want to give them a bit more patchy hair like so and then uh, you can do the same for his sideburns if you want to give him sideburns up to there again i'm just using l1 right stick to readjust the shape until i get it right and then just fill in the gaps really wherever i see there's gaps okay there's a little gap there so i flipped it with square chuck that in there for example um it's like correct is that is that my doing that's my doing so i might pull that in a bit but yeah for example like that you can just go through and you can layer his beard to give him a fuller beard and uh, press left on the d-pad if you want to make it slightly thinner and uh, yeah so that's that's another option i quite actually like this kind of look sorry about that i quite like this look with um the thinner hair it looks a bit more realistic um, so let's just finish it off here so i'm gonna go grab one press the left d-pad in chuck one over here Le left d-pad in and uh horizontal flip let's do a vertical flip i don't really want to see it looking like a face too much and let's just make another one l2 it and just chuck it sort of in the beard and let's do one on this side as well again in the beard and maybe one around the chin as well actually the chin's looking a bit scruffy at the moment something like that so yeah and you know let me just try him with this other body type of here yeah, so let's say that's that's another version i guess you can make um let me know how you guys find it for his clothing i've given him the ufc gloves and i wanted to give him some special um shorts i've i've got the tiger red ones over the course of his career he's worn all sorts of different shorts as you can imagine he's fought in uh, k1 as well as well as um the ufc he's fought in shuto as well um quite a few different organizations dream as well so yeah the guy's done his you know he's done his work so for his gloves yeah ufc gloves or uh just let me know what you guys go for i guess strike force didn't really fight in strike force but he did have well he wore black gloves in, in quite a few of his fights if you check online as well so yeah actually yeah yeah yeah. i'm quite digging it. i'm quite digging this look i think i prefer this one over the red hair version and uh yeah i hope you guys enjoy uh, let me know what you thought there's no longer a dislike button so if you want to drop a comment with your feedback that'd be great catch you guys in the next one any suggestions i am looking at uh, next ones i guess are the boxers that will be coming up soon uh canelo alvarez and a few others so yeah stay tuned guys peace out